Hello, Marcus. What do you want, Bobby? Why do I always have to want something? Because you always do, buddy. Now I'm insulted. But since you brought it up, have you seen that hot new reality show, The Stroller? You mean the crib? Stroller, crib, whatever. Isn't that the one when they come to the celebrity's house, they show off his crib and his lavish lifestyle? That's the one. Never seen it. I'm kidding, man. That's my favorite show, Bobby. Well, anyway, they have a huge following. Okay. And with a little arm twisting, I got the producers to feature your fortress of solitude. Solitude, really? What? I've been dealing with the crib. Boy, just to stay hip, I've been wearing my pants extra low so my boxers will stick out. We brothers call it sagging. Uh, you forgot your belt again, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the point is, the crib will be here this Friday. Okay. America's gonna love this place. Yeah. It's got style, it's yeah. got flair, mm -hmm. and most importantly, it's got... A mouse! A mouse! A mouse! A mouse! We just saw a mouse. No, it was a rat. It was a mouse rat. We might have to sell the house. Are they kidding? I don't think so. They haven't been this upset since they found out wrestling was fake. It is! Box office sensation Marcus Jackson is being prosecuted for his recent mishap with the paparazzi. I find you guilty as charged and order you to teach a class at South Central High School. Good morning, Principal Martin. What's so good about it? I'm still here. <laughs> hey, 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 no hats in school. Come on, give it up. Yo, last time I gave you my cap, you made me buy it back. Did you get a receipt? No. Then I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we don't know nothing. <laughs> wow, that was rude. Why is it so chilly in here? Did you turn off the heat again? Look, people, heat costs money. You know what I do to keep warm? I work. <laughs> You better start wearing a sweater. You got that right. And a jacket. <laughs> hey, Principal Martin, did you hear about the gym? No, what's wrong with the gym? Center court is dipping so bad, the kids are using it for a skate park. And so at least they're getting their exercise. No use, Freddy. You're talking to a guy that doesn't mind that our entire football team shares one helmet. Sharing one helmet gives you character. And a concussion. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> Now that we're talking about what we need, you know what I need? Yes, I do. Brains and a personality. <laughs> Was that a whole gallon of haterade? Mm-hmm. Okay, follow me, Principal Martin. Let's go. All right. Check it out. What do you smell? Mmm, the foul stench of failure. No. That is the smell of an old computer monitor. It gets so hot, the students use it to cook their food. Mm. This hot dog is going to be good. Uh, hurry up, I want to warm up my waffle. So what do you think? I think that's great news. I can finally sell that microwave. This is crazy. You insult the kids, you pinch pennies, you criticize all the teachers. What do you do all day? I think that pretty much covers it. <laughs> Why, do you think you can do a better job? You know what, this eraser could do a better job. Really? All right, if you think you can do my job, then why don't we trade places for a week? Oh, you want me to be the principal? Yeah, but you can't use any of your own money, Mac Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> I don't need to use my own money. Really? But why don't we make this real interesting? Let's put some cash on it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, how much can you handle, Big Shot? How much can I handle? <laughs> how much can I handle? <laughs> how about a buck? You got a bet. Mm. And um, you gonna teach my class? Oh, teaching is a strong word. I'll just do what you do. I'll clean their cage and occasionally throw in some meat. <laughs> Who ordered the short stack? Me. Echo one to echo two. Have you located the vermin? No, and I haven't seen the mouse either. Check that. Rat at 3 o'clock. Rat at 3 o'clock. <laughs> what are you doing, Bobby? The question is, what are you two doing, playing Call of Doofus? He's right, man. We've been at this for hours. Why don't we just call an exterminator? Are you kidding me? The tabloids get wind of this, they'll have a field day. Big action star can't handle a little mouse on his own. He'll be ruined. 
Look, I don't know what else to do. We laid out all types of traps, even a wedge of cheesecake. What? That was for the mouse? Was the poison in it? How you feeling? Fine. Oh, well, guess it wasn't enough. Just in case, don't go to sleep tonight. Once again, big time mouse hunter Bobby Gold to the rescue. What's that? This is the world's most powerful mouse destroyer. Is there a cat in there? No. Oh, it says, this emits an ear-piercing sound that's guaranteed to ward off all unwanted guests. Sounds like you. <laughs> no! It emits a high-pitched, ear-piercing sound that only mice can hear. Well, let's give it a try. Ah! Ah! Said, only mice can hear it! Cut it off! Why would I turn my head and cough? Oh! Get these things off of me! Ah, ah, I can't believe you guys are afraid of a little mouse. Ah, 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 ah. Who can tell me about Edgar Allan Poe? Camille. He was Poe? <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe was an underappreciated genius who worked hard with very little financial success. Much like myself. <laughs> he went on to die alone with nothing to comfort him but his books, his booze, and his imaginary friends. <laughs> God, I hate my life. Are you okay, Principal Martin? Principal Martin. Somebody get the nurse. It's a beautiful day to learn, isn't it? Welcome to our house of knowledge, people. In Spanish, that's casa de knowledge. <laughs> Good morning, Marcus, Freddy. Good morning. Hey, it's not freezing in here for a change. What happened? I happened. That's <laughs> right, Marcus happened. As acting principal, I turned up the heat. Just like I turned up the heat on all your concerns, Samantha. Hmm. Well, all right, Marcus. Enjoy your day. You too. He's way better than you, chump. Yeah. You realize he's only principal for a week, don't you, knucklehead? At which point you'll be back to being better than him. Don't touch me. <laughs> hey, Marcus, the new gym floor looks great. <laughs> new gym floor? Yes. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> Marcus, you know we can't afford a new gym floor. Next thing you're gonna tell me is that you got your class a new computer? <laughs> no, of course not. I bought us a new computer lab. 50 brand spanking new computers. 50 brand spanking new computers. Woo, woo. Does Freddie want a cracker? Yeah. Ah, oh, that was an insult. Mm. Oh. oh. So you ain't got no crackers? <laughs> oh, I get it. I know how you did this. You cheated. You used your own money. No, I used the school's weekly budget. Now, I had to move a few things around to make it work, but it wasn't even that hard. Marcus, this isn't the school's weekly budget. You spent our budget for the entire year. I did? Are yes. You, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure! <laughs> Oops. You've been principal for less than a week and you turned my beautiful office into a shrine to yourself. Yes, it's beautiful. The ski bum? Are you kidding me? More people saw this poster than the movie. If you adjust your attitude, I get you a DVD. Please, I'd rather you poke both of my eyes out. Anyway, that can't be the entire budget for the year. Why, because it would mean that we can't afford a new gymnasium floor and a computer lab? Oh. Now you understand why I do what I do. Like keep the heat off? No, I do that for fun. Okay, it's my bad, but maybe things aren't as bad as they seem. I just came from the bank and my paycheck bounced like a cheerleader on a trampoline. What do you mean you just came from the bank? Who's watching your class? It was a field trip. I didn't okay a field trip for your students. They weren't invited. It was for me. Now, where is my money? <clears throat> yeah, I just got the phone my business manager. My paycheck bounced too. You have a business manager? Yeah, Hector, the change guy at the laundromat. Oh, really? What kind of business you have? It's called Nanya, as in Nanya business. Hello? Freddie, this is the 70s. They want that joke back. Will you guys 
with clowning around? This is messed up. Yeah, how am I gonna pay for lunch? I got enough for the chimney, but not the changa. We want our money, and we, we want, want it now. Oh, guys, take it easy. This is a simple technical problem. Yeah, and technically, you have the right to kill him because Mark has spent all of the money. Give me a day or two, guys. I promise you, I'll straighten this all out. You have my word. One way or another, I'll make this right. Being principled isn't as easy as you thought it was, is it? You better have this fixed by the end of the day. Okay. Is that the end of a regular day or a school day? Oh, hey, what's going on? What are you guys doing here? Well, we're here because the mouse is there. You have mice at Marcus's? Yep, a big one. And he's really, really smart, too. Yeah, like Ben. The old movie about the mouse? No, Ben, the smart guy across the street from us. He was on Jeopardy and everything. We had to call an exterminator to get rid of him. We getting rid of the guy across the street? No, oh, the mouse at Marcus's. You will do no such thing. That mouse is a living creature. Let me slow it down for you. The fact that he's living is the problem. So your plan is to kill it? No, we're gonna buy Mickey a bus ticket and tell him the ride is from Orlando. <laughs> I don't believe in killing any living thing. When I used to spend summers in Kentucky with my auntie, we would catch mice all the time for fun and then just let them go. Well, thanks for the country bumpkin update. If I ever move into a trailer park, I'll call you for decorating advice. Now listen, the crew for the crib is gonna be at Marcus's in 24 hours. How much will it cost for you to give Mickey a stay of execution and get him out of that house? Please, if it'll save a life, I'll do it for free. Oh, what a nice girl. And a sucker. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. Goodbye. Oh, I can't believe it. I called the flooring place, the sporting goods store, and the computer store, and nobody will take anything back. It's not a total loss. I was able to return the coffee filters at lunch. Oh, that's great. I can buy enough gas to drive off a bridge. Excuse me, gentlemen. What do you want? If you're here to sell something, forget about it. You're too late. All the money's gone thanks to Dark Gable. Oh, I'm not selling anything. I'm Lois Yearwood. Well, that's funny. You have the same name as the new superintendent of schools. You know what's funnier? I am the new superintendent of schools. Well, hello. Hi, I'm Marcus Jackson. I know who you are. The fact that you're teaching in our little district is the source of much water cooler talk. <laughs> so what do we owe this pleasure? We have an itty-bitty little problem. Mm. You see, according to district accounting, someone over here got a little carried away with spending. I know it's probably a mistake, but they sent me over here just to make sure. Oh, it's definitely a mistake. <laughs> You're gonna love this. See, Principal Martin was trying to make a point about how difficult his job is. <laughs> so we decided to switch jobs for a week. And I bet him a buck that I could do his job better than him. <laughs> Marcus, really, you don't <laughs> Now wanna... get this, silly me. I thought the school's yearly budget was the weekly budget and spent all the money. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> you ain't laughing. Okay, cool. Uh, Miss Yearwood, please, uh, don't be too hard on Marcus. Mm -hmm. I explained to him that we don't print money, we just shift it. <laughs> He doesn't understand finances. He's an actor. It's all show, no biz, if you know what I mean. Oh, I totally understand. Great. Don't worry, Marcus's job is safe. You, on the other hand, are fired. <laughs> you have till the end of the day to get out. Toodles, Mr. Jackson. Oh, I got this. Is that the end of the school day or the regular day? <laughs> You know what? <clears throat> Here's your buck. You win. So this is how it ends. I thought I'd be at this school forever. I wasn't happy about that, and I used to have to cry myself to sleep every night, but it's a job. I know you're feeling pretty low, but I got something that'll cheer you right up. I already take antidepressants. <laughs> I know a guy who pays good money for deliveries. All you gotta do is drive some boxes across the border. Really? What's in them? Obviously, I can't tell you that. But I do need to ask you one thing. Are you allergic to Cubans? Cigars? Maybe. Forget that. Listen, Principal Martin, I'm gonna make this right. I'm gonna start a petition and get everyone who loves you to sign it. 
Okay, that probably won't work. <clears throat> Look, you've done enough already. I'm just gonna go down to the unemployment office. I'll probably see a lot of familiar faces. It'll be like parent-teacher night. <laughs> I know things look bad, and I want you to know I feel responsible for this, but I won't stop until I get you your job back. You hang tough. You took a chance on hiring me, and I will forever be in your debt. I will quit before I put up with this. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah, I, I called about the principal's position that opened up at South Central High. How do I apply? Oh, guys, I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, anytime's great for me. Where are you, where the one? Ooh, ah. Where are you, where the one? When did she become Elmer Fudd? I'm not Elmer Fudd, okay? This is how I'm going to lure him out. Mice like baby talk. <laughs> She gave it a name. <laughs> Why would you name something you're gonna kill? <laughs> and then capture and release into the wild. Shh. Oh, there he is, there he is. Ooh. She's coming out, look. She's the mouse whisperer. Come on, little frisky wags. Come over here, little frisky wags. Come on, I got him! Look! No. Ah! It's a You must say, I'm very impressed. You're very good at getting rid of useless rodents. How much would it cost to get rid of those two? Yeah, real funny. Good job, Samantha, getting rid of that thing. Hey, it's not a thing. This is one of nature's creations, and it has every right to live and breathe as we do. Like that spider right there? Where? Right there. Why'd you call me down here? To glow? No, I called you down here to give you something. What? This. A chair? You know my car won't make it up the hill with that in the back seat. <laughs> no, not the chair, your job. What was the last thing I said to you before you left? Uh, I believe you asked me if you could have my parking space. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> but before that, I said I'd get you your job back, fix this mess, and I did. Marcus, don't toy with my emotions. I'm really fragile. It's the truth. Last night, I went to the computer manufacturer. I thought they wouldn't take them back. They wouldn't, but I agreed to do a commercial for them. In exchange, they're making a huge donation to the school. Whoa, that's great. I know. Oh, man. that is so great. <laughs> How much? Too much. You should have kept this money for yourself. Hand over the check, Bobby. I don't want to. Bobby, give the man the check. To... You can... Fine. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll compromise. You give me the check and I won't rip your arm off. Touchy, touchy, touchy. Wow, there's a lot of money here. It's enough to cover the teacher's paychecks, mm -hmm. I could balance the budget, and with the money left over, I could get my mom the new hip she needs. Really? No, you're right. I'm gonna remodel my den instead. <laughs> you're all hard. You know, you didn't tell me how you got my job back. The superintendent was pretty firm. Oh. Marka. <laughs> You're not going to keep a girl waiting now, are you? I'll be right there, Snuckles. Oh, goody. <laughs> I'll be waiting outside, my little chocolate kiss. Oh. <laughs> oh, I need some air. I'm gonna be nauseous. Out of my way! No one's in your way. I know, I just like to make a big exit. Here, stand right here. No, like, no, like, right out of my way! <laughs> so you took one for the team. Uh, it's the least I can do, considering. Thanks. And to show my appreciation, I'm gonna give you your buck back. Well, thank you. Psych. Now get out of my office. Snookums is waiting. 